Good morning. Uh, welcome to Thursday morning prayer. We're going to be uh, releasing a video every Thursday morning where we say common worship morning prayer together. Um, what's amazing is that we are joining with uh, thousands of other Christians this morning in saying these words together. These words which uh, the Church of England have produced and which um, are really fitting and really appropriate, particularly in this time where sometimes when we gather to pray, it can feel so hard to know what to say. Um, and I think that's one of the gifts of liturgy is that it gives us something to say um, in the midst of uh, such uncertainty. So um, you should be able to find in the comments section a link where you can find the liturgy for the service. Um, if you want to print a copy of that off at home, um, the, liturgy's not, the liturgy is not going to change at all. So um, you can print that copy off and it'll be good, good to go. And as I mentioned last week, um, I know there are some of our communities who are unable to access the internet. So I've posted them copies of this booklet. Um, but actually, if you're someone who uh, is watching along online, but would still value a printed copy, uh, let me know because I've got a few spares so I can drop one around to you or pop it in the post. So the booklet looks like this. Um, I'll be leading us through again, like last time, the words will come up sort of down here in front of me. Um, and those are the bits that we'll say together uh, yeah, as we go through. So let's take a moment, quiet our hearts, um, and then we'll begin. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. God, be gracious to us and bless us. And make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. O oh, let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. We're going to say the words of Psalm 91 together. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. 
with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Now we say our gospel canticle together. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. We have today's Gospel reading, which is taken from John chapter 3. beginning to read of verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but people love darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what they have done has been done in the sight of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We come to our time of intercession prayer. Um, I'm going to lead us in a few short points for our prayers. Um, but do feel free to pause the video at this point and have a more extended time of personal prayer. Um, you know, be that intercessory or, or prayer for yourselves at this time. Um, I'm going to lead us through the points that the, the Church of England sets for the day. Um, but yeah, like I said, do feel free to pause the video and, and pray for a longer period. So we begin by praying for the day and its tasks. And God, we lift up to you this day. We lift up to you uh, the day, no matter how we're feeling. No matter whether we've woken up feeling um, energised and, and ready to get on with whatever it is we're planning to do today. Or whether it's that we've woken up feeling really anxious and worried. Or whether we've woken up feeling utterly drained and want to do nothing more than uh, roll over and go back to bed. I lift up to you the, the small tasks that we might have to do today or, or whether it's that we have more on and, and kind of over the past few weeks, our lives have got more busy rather than less busy. I pray that you would protect us and watch over us this day. Amen. And now we're going to pray for the world and its needs. Father, we lift up to you your world today. Your world that's um, in such turmoil. Your world that's, um, yeah, kind of 
almost come to total standstill because of this virus. And God, your world needs you. Your world needs your healing hand upon it. We pray that you would uh, yeah, deliver this world from this virus, that you would put an end to it now in Jesus' name. But I pray for um, a spirit of freedom and a spirit of knowing that you are God. Amen. And finally, we pray for the church in her life. God, we lift up your church today. God, I thank you for the ways that your church is responding in this time. God, I thank you for uh, technological giftings that means we can do things online. I thank you for those who have uh, volunteered their time so selflessly to step in to help food banks and and to uh, yeah really be a support and a listening ear and a kind voice to the vulnerable in our churches. God, I pray for your wisdom, for Paul, our bishop, and for Justin and John, our archbishops, as they help navigate um, your church through this difficult time. And God, I pray that... Um, in this season where we are scattered. Lord, you would unite us. Amen. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your servants, from all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks for joining us this morning. Um, we'll be back next Thursday for morning prayer again. Uh, take care and God bless.